Dear viewers, welcome back to my channel. Today, we stand upon the windswept plains of Montana, where history unfolded with thunderous echoes. The Little Bighorn Battlefield National Monument bears witness to a clash of cultures, ideologies, and destinies. In 1876, the sun bore witness to tragedy. General George Armstrong Custer, leading the 7th Cavalry, faced off against the Lakota Sioux and Cheyenne warriors. Imagine the thunder of hooves, the 7th Cavalry charging, their blue uniforms stark against the prairie. But across the divide, the Lakota and Cheyenne rode with determination. The clash was inevitable. Bullets pierced the air, arrows found their marks. Custer, daring and flawed, pressed forward. After an unsuccessful attack on the Indian camp in the valley, Major Reno and his battalion retreated to this vicinity, where they were soon reinforced by Captain Benteen's battalion and the pack train. In an attempt to find and rejoin Custer they moved northwest, but returned when confronted by warriors. Here, the surrounded troops made a desperate stand until the next afternoon when the Indian withdrew as the Terry Given column approached. The main force of the U.S. Army eventually arrived, and some of the men under Major Reno's command were saved. All 210 men who remained with Custer were killed during the battle. The defeat cost Custer his life. The echoes of valor and tragedy still resonate across those windswept plains, reminding us of the complex legacy left by that historic battle. The sun dipped low, 
casting shadows over the fallen. Their spirits ride forever, intertwined. Giants, heroes who believe in their cause. Let us remember them all, the fallen, the brave. May the winds carry their echoes across generations. This is the Little Bighorn Battlefield National Monument, a place where history whispers. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Until we meet again. May your footsteps be guided by the spirits of valor.